<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that. Helicopter sword. And sir, that's that's Yoshimitsu. What? The all the helicopter all sword. <laughs> helicopter sword and your spinning blades. That's Yoshimitsu. Tekken slash. Things that came after Super Metroid. Look, and you're and you're and things you're, that came after Super and Metroid. You, and you're implying this was Metroid. I could imply just the same thing. He may have never played Metroid. We don't know. Just First saying. Off, Metroid's not on PlayStation. I, I don't. I don't, I don't know where your argument's coming from at all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where your argument's coming. From. My argument's pretty simple. It looks similar. Yeah. So it's right. One one looks similar and came around much earlier, and was probably played by more that people. That shield rings on that idea. Huh? Who's this guy? Oh wait! Oh! Wait, you killed him before. Spiral claw! Woo! <laughs> yeah. Quick, Ryan, turn turning suicide. <laughs> Ryan knows. Duh. That was a waste. You were quite adept for a sword, which is like a man is half the size it used to be. Just do the same things, the same stuff you could do with the sword before, except now you can jump higher. Yeah. Well, like it's also like it's like it's one of those things where um, you would just wake up and you know how to do it, or like you, like like you know exactly how like your body works, even though your body is different. Physically, his body is hugely different. It is. But I think as far as his sword skills go, it's probably just that he can jump for higher and longer than he's used to. So then he was just like, ah, let me try this. Whee! <laughs> and he flies across the screen. And his body is lighter. Yeah. It's like a uh, fucking Jotaro. He's like, cool, star platinum. Don't use this. That's actually one of the things that has come up in, uh, in JoJo. It's like, it? the moment you get a stand, it pretty... I, it we don't it, the stand actually just tells you or just because the mere fact that you have the stand you then inherently know how to use it because it's an extension of yourself except uh, by, by very the, few have actually by, had to go and like learn it Ooh. like here the the example being Abdul was born with the stand yes same thing with uh Polnara. yes they just know how to do because they, they they grew up with it Mm -hmm. Jotaro just gained it, and he's like, okay, I know how to do this. Yes, that's the thing. And, and, Other people no, have I'm, also I'm, just no, gained it, I'm, and... I'm, I'm going along here. We go to Koichi, who just got a stand by getting shot in the face, or yes. neck, or chest. Mm -hmm. And then he has to go, like, all the stuff, how to, like, learn what, what an it does. Like, oh, it's an egg. What to do. Oh. It's yeah. Frighteningly sharp. It yeah, he's one of the few who's actually had to deal with that. Indeed it is. Hey baby. Hey baby. Wanna? How you doing? We wanna touch spiders? Touch spiders. Who does that? A mysterious voice threw it at me and told me to go do something with it. So, do you jerk people off with those bone hands or what? You are the queen of the netherworld. I am the prince of Titania. Hello. I need to leave now, please. <laughs> I was kind of just dropped off here. I, would like you to return I got to so world. smashed last night, man. Once you enter this land, you cannot be allowed to leave. Except I heard this guy Odin who bones you a lot just comes and goes as he pleases. Your careless existence makes you want to leave. Ow. This no. is the land of the dead. Once you taste death, you will appreciate it. Ma'am, I don't well, I, I don't take I Kylie you, to threats. I thank you for the offer, but I, I really shouldn't. Yeah. I don't take Kylie to threats, although I'm expected home and the love of my life is waiting for me in a forest. Yes. I don't wait, I don't understand. Do you want me to taste your death or taste death as a whole? I'm not I'm very unclear about this. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. She's just Ryan, you just keep drilling into her. Every time we meet. Does this kind of bestiality? <laughs> Do pukas count as animals? <laughs> okay, 
So what is this a combination of? We got a little bit of bestiality over here. Um, Necrophilia implies she is dead. Are you not, implying that she's not? She is undead. Necrophilia? Un-necrophilia? Like, do, do I just add an un in front of it to make it work? No, because it seems like that body's still dead. No, because hey, if, no, if you're undead, that means you're alive. But un-necrophilia. No, I think it's just normal philia. I, I, I don't think the math adds up. Beast of beast of necrophiliac. This is this is gonna be this is gonna have to be something that we. <laughs> it's a study we do later. Yeah, we will we will we will bring together definitions. Hold on. We will do research, Cody. We will have to go to the halls of academia themselves to be able to answer these questions. Ooh. Oh, yeah, the side. Cut the tail into yeah. that one. Miss? Miss, please. Miss, miss, please, we need to talk. Yeah. I don't want this to come to such bad terms between us. Oh, because when I actually die, I kind of think you're pretty cool to hang out with. But, okay. Um, I kind of need to go home. Zombie is, was an unknown word to Latin. However, I guess we could translate the Latin for what zombie is, namely the living dead. Thus, in Latin, we turn into mortus viviens. There is not a word for zombie in Latin, but living dead is Latin for victus mortis. So perhaps mortophilia or vivid mortophilia would be love for love for the undead. Okay, there we go. Works for me. Morto, uh, what was it again? <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a weird Latin word. Okay, and I'll I'll spell it out on I'll spell it out on, on the screen while 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 she's. I, 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 I don't know what they're about to do here. In more to vivifilia, which is more to vivians, which is the living dead. More vivians, yes. Or vivimortophilia, which is the dead that is now alive. Such people never okay. Okay. The, the love of the undead, which is technically not necrophilia, because necrophilia is the love of the dead. It's they are two different things, and one doesn't have a law against it. What does this have to do with pukas? Uh, the fact that it's beast of morbidophilia, where a puka has sex with an undead woman. I merely woke up and found myself here. I shall go. Allow me to prove to you that this is some mistake. So, like, you just backhanded her. And was like, eh, I'm leaving. And she's like, okay! Death not not exactly. Your sword has prolonged it. Your God, you jiggle very nicely. Also, you're breathing. It doesn't, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. With a candle and light the way across the desolation. Who are you talking to? Who are you, who are you talking so to? Mostly herself. Goodbye, nice lady. The queen had warned... Bye, nice lady! I soon became a prisoner of the Demon Lord. Guy's such an asshole. Oh, wait, Odin. Yes. Okay. <laughs> like, when people say Demon Lord, they're like, okay, it's probably Mephistopheles, Satan, you know, Lucifer, all, all, all that stuff. Not Demon Lord Odin. Like, it's one of these things you hear, it's like, oh, so Satan, Demon Lord, that guy? Not nah, Odin. What? Yeah. It's the kind of name you get for being an asshole. Oh, you put it like that. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, right. We were. We I, were, I was trying to find the word for bestiality plus the live plus the love of the undead. Not love of the not love of the undead beast. It's different. <laughs> Hello. It's not this way. Go straight in the other direction. If you try anything foolish, he has no face. He just has a. Throat. Bottom He's, jaw. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Ooh. A Griselda. Mm. <laughs> oh, Brian. What? Isn't she dead? No. Listen, man, we've just had this conversation. <laughs> we went back in time, didn't we? No. This just yes. happened before. This happened before him. Yeah. The intruder? Yes. It is said he had a cipher. A crystal sword. Where is it? Princess Gwendolyn will deliver it to the king. It seems Gwendolyn is being lenient, as usual. 
I'm standing right here, you know. I would have taken his life right then and there. It's a puka. That's like saying uh, 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 this dog is oh. an intruder. Hey, what's up? The You've got slutty feet. The, the king shall pass judgment on you. Now, come this way. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Wait, are you gonna, you gonna go? All right, I'll, I'll say that. Who? Sword, giant sword just falls, <laughs> falls on like. Your sister's much more prettier than you are. Ah, also has bigger breasts. Causing a commotion over something so ludicrous. Is this it's a puka. puka who calls upon the demon lord who is feared by all? Wait, is the puka feared by all? Or the demon lord feared by all? <laughs> I didn't understand that sentence. Ruler of the Northern Realm, I have no intention of causing any damage or harm to your country. I only request Might I say your daughters are quite lovely, especially land. the one with the larger breasts. I hope nothing bad happens. I cannot to believe the story of a sinner who managed to escape the netherworld. Well, I here I am. No sins. So you say. Yes, I do say. Is, is this why I can't believe anything you say anymore? It is a special sword our country gave to the previous king of Titania. Yes, I told you I'm the prince of Titania. You don't why don't you believe me? But if you are a prince and have not sinned, show me your bravery to prove it. Well, I'm not sure how this works. As, I'm a puka now. I'm not sure what my Go kill a dragon. I'm, I'm not sure what my bravery looks like anymore. If you oh, that bravery! Oh, I'm sorry. I believe your story. I shall comply. I shall prove myself. Get the sword back later, nerd. <laughs> it's like all I have to do is go and get this guy's drinking horn. That sounds all right. Sounds easy. Let me return your sword. You know, you can just hand it to me, not to say the act in which you're doing it. Sometimes you gotta say it, man. Milady. Are you really going to go? Well, Lord I kinda is going have to. to dislike Pukas. Those outside of the castle who have heard the king's orders shall attack you. Because I'm people to told to get his drinking cup. Thank you for your concern. You people sure have really weird, like, ways of talking to people. But nothing gets him down. That's just like... <laughs> He's literally just been told. The person you're being sent to despises Puka, and everyone in the country is going to attack you when you leave the castle. Well, I better get started. <laughs> but like, Obtain Brigand's Horn with Valor! Is Valor your sword, or what? <laughs> But like, I need you to get Brigand's horn. Is it Brigand your friend? Yes. No. Oh, is that? No. Oh, okay. He's the dude who wants the throne and everyone knows it. Well, I don't think we know it now. Question mark. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Odin knew that or has known that for a while. You sure? Yeah. Odin seems like a pretty oblivious dude. I don't think Odin's Yeah, oblivious. I don't think he's oblivious at all. Are yeah. you sure? Because he, sure yeah. well he, forgot, he forgot he had two daughters. One? He Cody, did he forget. didn't forget he had two daughters. He forget he had one. <laughs> no. The one he had the nasty with the woman and then he forgot He didn't forget her. her. Oh, no. he didn't? Okay. No. That. Right. Two bombs. Got blown up. He also, also the doctor got blown up. Maybe he forgot... He, he forgot he well, sold his daughter to more than one man. Nope. He does that because he's an asshole. Now this... Is this is an interesting concept right here? What? The fact you're a puka? The fact that there's a there's a chance that we can say that the reason that their army lost was because so many other Valkyries were killed by the Puka Prince beforehand. Which recruit the Puka Prince? <laughs> yes, he seems like a worthy fellow. Puka Prince seems like a guy who you could trust. <laughs> you know, uh. you know. Cordillo is the Puka Prince, so he found in the back alley. He's like, you know what? This seems like a guy I can trust. Don't just show up. We had things to do today. He got that massive thigh gap going on. <laughs> yeah, his thigh gap would be gigantic. Jesus. What is up with that? Like, why do people suddenly want that? I don't know. Like, it's, it's, it's becoming a thing that, that yeah. nowadays. Like, you gotta get to go with the thigh gap. Okay. I, Cody? No idea. 
look, it's 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 already hard to like understand if dicks out for Harambe, but you know. <laughs> dicks out for Harambe. It's, That's the it's, first time I've heard that one. <laughs> Dank meme. <laughs> Please don't say shit like that. <laughs> look, man. When the when the BBC you hear someone on BBC say a dank me <laughs> means it's okay to say. No, it's, it's not, not okay. No, it's not. Ooh. Missiles away. Wait, did you just hit the missile and now missile it's going and back deflect to it back to them? Yes, that's yep. exactly what I did. That's not how that works. It's a good sword though. If I just hit a heat seeking missile, it just doesn't go. Well, I'm gonna go attack that guy now. No, it doesn't work no, like that. A heat-seeking missile would co be coming at you so fast that it wouldn't matter. These things, however, go at the speed of slugs. Uh, well, slugs go slower. Than that. Yeah. You know, is this a, is this supposed to be a bullet hell now? No, it's just no. it's just the same boss fight from before. There's yeah. just a lot of shit going on. So yeah, like, yeah, a lot of stuff happens. You gotta deal with it because you're the Puka Prince. Well, at least I broke that one. Yep. Is this is this why Odin loses? Yes. Because you, you've already destroyed all of his dirigibles. Possibly. Yeah, that's what I like to think. I like to think that his his asking the prince to do this is what causes him to lose the next war. Because he just didn't have the forces. Well, the thing is, he wins the next war because he kills. Titan. He eventually wins. The next war. Yeah. Titania. But he loses a daughter in the process. Yeah. Good he loses off, multiple things in that war. war. Right. He loses a lot of things in that war. Well, technically, he loses two daughters. Yeah. By two daughters, I mean he loses his, he loses his daughter to an edgy little man. Ooh, Pepinarisa. Who couldn't die when he was supposed to. Cody, he couldn't die because he was these, killed. Look at all these ingredients. Mm -hmm. all that. Eat that tourney. But, Ryan, who's going to make you your food? Uh, he will. A little fat uh, other Other pukas. I'm like, you're the puka. They're going to look at you and go, make your own goddamn food. <laughs> make, your, make your own sandwich, <laughs> asshole. God. It's like, what the... We, we make food for humans here. Ain't no pukas allowed in this restaurant. <laughs> That's the segregation. Even, segregation has, has begun. Even pukas hate pukas. You're one of them self-hating pukas, ain't you? <laughs> huh. Oh, the, that's why these are downs. 